Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV Survivor Chat. I'm your host, Devins. You played a terrible game. Just terrible. But we'll talk about that later on in the episode. Hey, if you like what we do here on Crazy Hank TV and we got a lot of stuff going on, subscribe to us, tell a friend, pass the word on. Now to my six hot takes for tonight's episode. Ah, they're kind of hot, kind of cold, but anyway, there's six takes here. We start with a reward challenge, and the reward challenge is they're getting Chinese food, Chinese takeout for the winning team. And I'm thinking, oh, I love Chinese food, but after 20 days of not eating properly, do I want Chinese food? Is that something that my stomach's going to be able to handle? Now, me personally, and maybe you, maybe you can put it in the comment section, I'd be fine with the Chinese food. Me personally, it'd be bad. It'd be, it'd be a mess. But um, anyway, moving forward. Also, they had David doing the uh, puzzle challenges. Is he good at the puzzle challenges? Uh, doing the puzzle part of it? Is he good at it? I don't think so. I, I, I think he struggled a lot this season. But anyway, he did it, and, well, the team lost. I'm not saying it's his fault, but I just like to point that out. Uh, number two, uh, we have David and Kelly uh, Wentworth talking about you know they're they're you know they did they voted against each other the final the first uh, week before, and now they're they're mending the fences. They're saying, hey, to survive, we got to go forward. They're making they're doing they're playing a smart game at this point. That's what you have to do in Survivor. You have to you have to okay. i I'm, I'm upset with this person. I may I may be lying to this person. But you don't burn your bridges openly, which someone else did later on. Uh, we had Aurora talking to Ron, saying she was upset that she wasn't notified that uh, Joe was going home and that she was left out of the vote. And I was thinking, okay, I, I get it. She's part of the alliance. She probably should know, but she was very close to Joe. So what would have been the if she told Joe? I think at that point they made the right move, but but it may later on come back to bite him, and it might have tonight. We'll wait and see. Uh, third, we have. Devin's walking with War Dog, and War Dog goes, "Hey, you know, we work together." And he goes, "Of course I work." And then he goes, "Why would I work with you? Why would I don't trust you? I don't want to work with you. You guys are, you guys. I don't trust any of you." Now he can think that, he can believe that, he could ha he could play that way in his head, but there's no way you tell another contestant and to other people that you're not going to work with them because you're upset with them because you don't trust them. Now he has every right not to trust them. They did burn him. But that's not the way to play this game. And you've been playing a pretty pretty good game all along, Devins, but huge mistake tonight. Terrible mistake tonight. I just I just I was like, stop talking! Stop! But you didn't listen, you just kept doing it on. Where David, you know, David went to Wentworth and they're they, you know, obviously against each other for a while, and they work together and maybe, you know, they'll last longer in the game. But we'll see what happens. I'm not there, you're there, we'll Go with what happens. And also, is, is are we heading for divorce court with David and Devins? Uh, you know, they were strong allies, but they were obviously not clicking on tonight's, you know, uh, David was trying to tell him, okay, hey, you know, you got to watch what you're doing. This could be the, you know, you always remember something from the game, a, 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 you know, a statement you make, and you're making the wrong statement. You're going to remember this down the, but I don't think Devins was getting it. He even asked for the other half of the idol back, and David said, no, I think I'll keep it. Which I thought was a smart move on uh, David's part, because uh, at this point we don't know where Devin's going. He's Devin's is going where he's he's all over the place. Uh, four, we have we go edge of extinction island, and uh, they get Chris brings up four wine bottles. There's clues going on. They're looking for it, and Aubrey finds it, finds a clue, finds a, a, a key to the challenge that's going to be, I guess, getting them back in the game, and. She also gets she gets an extra vote that she can send to someone else, and we'll let you know who that was later on. But I, I find it odd that they're in this small island that no one else would know. I, I'm thinking the, the production crew must have told the other people, you need to stay back. You can't see what she's practicing. I, I'm, I, I know it's probably not important to the rest of you, but to me, that's kind of stuff that bugs me. So I'm going to think that's what happened. Uh, five, we go to the challenge, and it's it's a tough challenge. It's a tough challenge. They're on their toes. they got to balance the, the thing. Uh, of course, War Dog's out in like two seconds. Um, I probably would have lasted a little longer than two seconds, but um, it is a tough challenge. It comes down, and then uh, Lauren's, uh, Lauren falls down and passes out. And, and that's when Aubrey, uh, not Aubrey, uh, Aurora takes her, her chance to tell Victoria, look, I feel like I, I can't trust you. You need to let me win. While she's laying there passed out. Later on, she does come back. <laughs> she does come to. They get her all set up, and she's back in the game. They're going back and forth. Victoria didn't give in, but she did lose, and Aurora wins. Aurora gets back to camp, and she also finds out that Aubrey's giving her an extra vote, which is good for Aubrey, because if Aubrey gets back in the game, her and Aurora were pretty close. I think they did work together, 
So she's going to need as many peaks. She wants to keep Aurora in the game. So that's a smart move by Aubrey. Uh, we go to Tribal Council. There's a lot of stuff going back and forth. David gives a great analogy. Um, you know, uh, you want to be the pilot, not the passenger. And so I thought that made great sense. War Dog was going on. They kept doing, I forgot to say, the comma seven kept uh, Chris and... Uh, Eric and uh, Ron kept putting, you want to be there for your family. You want to be there for the family, uh, uh, you know, reunite with your family. And I'm like going, yeah, that's great. But then Wardog finally said what I was thinking. I want to win a million dollars. I'm there to win the game. Yeah, it's terrible to be away from my family. But at this point, we're talking another seven, eight days. I can make it. I've made it this far. I left my family for a reason. My fa I left them to win a million dollars and win the game. Not to see them later on and give them a hug. I'll do that after I win the game. But anyway, that's what goes on. They go to the vote. And you can even see at one point, Chris is like going, doing the math. And uh, I'm sorry, Eric doing the math. And Eric gets voted out. He uh, was very polite. He, but he's going back in the game and go from there. Uh, I thought it was a great episode today. A lot of strategy going on. A lot of things going on. And there's like three or four people right now, I think, that can win it. Uh, it's some great game playing going on. Ron overshot, you know, when he said, I'm the puppet master. That always comes back to bite people in the end. Uh, but I'm going to give my player, uh, survivor player of the game, War Dog. I don't think War Dog can win this game, but he, he's a very smart player. He's, 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 he has a clue. He, he knows what's going on. He knows it's his approach. It's his approach. He barks at people and that it's just that people don't like to be told what to do. You need to let people think, you need to tell them what to do and let them think, they're coming up with the idea. It just his, it just his approach is killing him. If he, he had a better approach to the game, he, he would win this out hands hands down. He'd win it. But anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to us. We'll be back next week. Bye, everybody.